Greetings Ant Lovers! Welcome to the Amazing Ants of Ant Canada YouTube channel. I'm Mikey Bustos and today's video is a big one. We've just launched our new highly anticipated cutting edge formicarium line known as the Ant Canada Hybrid Nest. Now I say highly anticipated because since we went public with the formicarium designs prior to their release, droves of you ant lovers out there have been writing to us asking when they would be available. And the great news is, they have finally arrived at AntsCanada.com. Now if you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that we are obsessed with ants. And over the years, we've been able to discover a lot about ant keeping. Now in all my years of ant keeping, I have never seen a product so perfectly tailored to ant keeping as these hybrid nests. The Ants Canada team has brought together all of our ant keeping knowledge, research, and experience to create and bring you the most practical, sleek, versatile, and customizable formicarium ever made. So let's get to it guys, introducing the Ants Canada Hybrid Nest. Now the problem we found with the commercially available formicaria out there for us ant keepers was that there weren't any formicaria specially designed to cater to the specific needs of specific ants. Now it's a known fact that different ants create different nests. Of course chambers and tunnels are the main design structures of all ant nests, but size, length, curvature and other factors make each nest design unique per species and have specific functions at maintaining the ideal nest conditions. Now with this key principle in mind, my business partner Brian Barnett and I drew up carefully executed blueprints which became the essence of the Ants Canada hybrid nests, inspired by the natural architecture of several specific ant genera in the wild. But before we get into the specs of each genus design, let's take a look at the hybrid nest's amazing formicarium features. Now when you receive your hybrid nest, it will be well packed and comes to you partially assembled. It will come along with a kit of a few parts, which we will talk about shortly, and the entire package gets to you in just a few days. So our first feature we will look at is perhaps the most important feature, the hydration system. The hydration system of the hybrid nest is designed to lessen the maintenance. Now we as ant keepers know that the less you have to worry about whether your formicarium is providing the proper amounts of moisture and humidity or not, the better. As you can see here, the hybrid nest comes in two primary sections, an upper and a lower portion. When you separate the two, you'll see that the lower section is composed of a main hydration basin and two side exposed basins. Now one of my favorite things about the hybrid nest with respect to hydration is that you, the ant keeper, can use any hydration medium you prefer or any that you know your ants prefer. Examples of possible hydration media include cotton, soil, plaster of Paris, Waitong and AAC, perlite, sand, etc. And so you simply add your hydration medium into this main hydration basin. And here we're using cotton. I like to use cotton because it's organic, it's readily available, it's easy to replace, and if you raised your colony in a test tube setup, you'll know that cotton is already familiar to them. Now the upper portion of the hybrid nest contains a meshed area, and this is where your ants will be able to get the nest moisture they need. So once you replace the upper portion of the hybrid nest to the lower portion and add water to the exposed side hydration basins, then you're all set. Small holes deliver the water to the main hydration basin, which gradually and comfortably delivers the moisture to your ants. Pretty neat, no? Now the kit also comes with water basin lids geared to keep unwanted stuff from falling in and also to reduce water loss to evaporation. You can also add a thin layer of digging medium, like sand, inside the formicarium to keep humidity levels high and give your ants the chance to customize their formicarium interior. Now let's look at connectivity. Wanna hear something cool? The hybrid nests connect directly to your test tubes. Once your test tube colony is ready to be moved into your formicariums, simply remove the cotton plug from the test tube and insert the test tube into an entrance. And voila! This makes moving an ant colony into your formicarium smooth and easy because the colony has virtually no distance to travel. Hybrid nests also easily connect to standard poly tubing, making it easy to connect to other formicaria and outworlds. Test tubes and poly tubing come complete with the hybrid nest kit. Now mold is among an ant keeper's worst enemies. It is very dangerous to an ant colony when it gets out of hand. And though mold is present in all nests, it takes a good formicarium to keep it from reaching dangerous levels. 
The hybrid nest has been designed to greatly reduce mold and to also allow for its cleanup if it does occur. Mold resistant materials have been chosen in the hybrid nest construction and the base can be removed from the nest without allowing ants to escape in case the hydration medium gets moldy and needs to be replaced. And now let's take a look at heating. Many ant species thrive in a nest that is warmer than room temperature and so most ant keepers use a heating cable to heat their ants and ants in an air conditioned room do very poorly. And so when we created the hybrid nest we wanted to make it compatible to a heating cable which ant keepers usually use to heat their nests. Now we've built the hybrid nest to have a heat cable tunnel at the top which allows for heat to enter the top of the nest similar to how the sun heats a nest in the wild. It's also situated in such a place that it eliminates condensation, which is a notoriously common issue with heated formicariums. And it also creates a desirable temperature gradient for healthy thermal regulation of your ant colony. The ants can choose, for example, to place their pupae closer to the heating cable, which is what many ants do to speed up pupae development, but keep eggs and larvae in more moist areas so they do not dry out quickly. Another great aspect of the hybrid nest is the nesting space can be increased by adding additional hybrid nests. Small clips that come with the kit are available that connect hybrid nests together. All that's needed is a small piece of poly tubing to connect one entrance to another and then these clips hold the hybrid nests flush against each other. Feel free to add as many units as you like as the colony grows and you can creatively use the exits to lead to other formicarium units other outworlds, or even to another test tube full of water or sugar water. For those of you going on a vacation for a week or two, now you don't have to worry about your ants running out of water. You can just simply fill test tubes up and attach them to your hybrid nest. But if you do go on vacation, don't forget to get somebody to feed them. The hybrid nest small comes with two exits, and the hybrid nest large comes with four exits. When you're not using an exit, remember to plug it with cotton. Finally, as we all know, ants naturally feel comfortable having their nest space cloaked in darkness. Our hybrid nests come complete with a cover so you can keep your ants in the dark when you're not observing them. Just a note that the hybrid nest comes complete with a glass, but you have to be careful because the glass has sharp edges and it's not attached to the hybrid nest. If you're dealing with small ants, we suggest that you silicone the edges of the glass to the hybrid nest. But if you're dealing with medium to large ants, that can't fit through small spaces. We recommend that you don't silicone the glass to the hybrid nest so you can clean later on. And finally, onto the specs of each hybrid nest design. We have found that ants within the same genus generally tend to have similar moisture and nest requirements. So each genus tailored design is perfectly crafted to offer the approximate moisture amount to fit specific genera of commonly kept ant species. With extensive research, and hands-on experience, we believe we've matched key nest elements in the hybrid nest designs with those of several popular ant genera. And so now I'm sure you guys have been itching to see the specific nest designs, so finally, here they are. Introducing the Campanotis hybrid nest. Horizontally linear, smooth, spacious tunnels and chambers inspired by Campanotis ant nests within wood. It offers 20 to 40% humidity. It's geared to house most Campanotis species, but it's also suitable for other ant species, except for maybe moisture-loving ants like Myrmica. The Formica Hybrid Nest Large spacious oval chambers of varying depths and moisture levels connected by narrow tunnels. It offers 30 to 50% humidity and is suitable for most Formica and all common ant species except for some larger ants like Campanotis or Pogonomermex. It may also not be suitable for moisture-loving ants like Myrmica. The Laceous Hybrid Nest A network of spacious rounded chambers separated by thin walls and tight passageways. This formicarium offers 50-60% to 60 humidity. This hybrid nest is designed to house Laceous ants as well as other common small ant species like Tetramorium, Solenopsis, Chromatogaster, and Temnothorax. It may not be suitable for Campanotis, Pogonomermex, Messer, Formica, or any other species whose queen or workers exceeds 4 mm in length or girth. The Myrmica Hybrid Nest A mass of pits and chambers with no defined tunnels designed to keep all areas of the nest damp. It offers as much as 80-100% to 100 humidity. 
It's designed to house moisture-loving myrmica, and can also house other common ant species, but may not be suitable for dry-loving ants, like Campanotis and Pogonomermex ants. The Pogonomermex hybrid nest. Chambers mimicking harvester ants' natural disc-shaped nest chambers of varying depths and moisture levels, connected by narrow tunnels. It offers 20 to 40% humidity. It's suitable for Pogonomermex and all common ant species, but may not be suitable for moisture-loving ants like Myrmica. The Solenopsis hybrid nest. An intense network of rigid tunnels and numerous small chambers characterized by the notoriously active fire ant nests. It offers 40 to 60% humidity. It's designed to house Solenopsis, but can also be used for other small ant species like Tetramorium, Solenopsis, Chromatogaster ants, and Temnothorax species. It may not be suitable for Campanotis, Pogonomermex, Messer, Formica, or any other species whose queen or workers exceeds 4 mm in length or girth. The Tetramorium hybrid nest. A maze-like linear network of rectangular tunnels connected by archways, creating the illusion of a society living within the spaces between and under sidewalk blocks and pavements. It offers 30 to 50% humidity and is suitable for Tetramorium ants, as well as other small ant species like Solenopsis, Chromatogaster, and Temnothorax. It may not be suitable for Campanotis, Pogonomermex, Messer, Formica, or any species whose queen or workers exceeds 4 mm in length or girth. And there you have it, guys! Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you can check out our new line of hybrid nests at antscanada.com. This is Ants Canada signing out. It's Ant Love Forever. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our brand new video on the Ants Canada hybrid nests. By the way guys, if you want to download a free copy of the instructions manual so you can take a deeper look into the product, just simply visit the site and go into the product page and there's a free download link there. Now if you want to learn more about how our hybrid nests were made, check out that video on the left. Or if you want to watch some really really cool ants, check out our Solenopsis Geminata playlist. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos for more awesome ant videos. It's Ant Love Forever guys, Bye bye